Everyone, thank you for joining me today for our bar workout. The only equipment that you'll need, and of course, it's um, like always, it's not compulsory, is two hand weights, an ankle weight, and one of the little mini um, exercise balls. Alrighty, let's get into it. Starting off with our warm up. And we'll just go with our feet in first position, so our heels are together, and arm is out to the side. Let's go full plie all the way down and all the way up. Good. So keeping our heels on the floor for as long as you can. Warming up through the ankles. Two more. Rib cage is reaching down towards your hips. Last one. And now let's go rises. Up and up. Shoulders are down. Rising up as high as you can on your toes. Five more. Three, two, and hold. Okay, we're gonna go back to the plies on a rise now. Down and up. Two more. And last one. Alrighty, and now let's point the foot out to second and forward fold. See if you can take both hands off the bar and forward. Legs as straight as you can. Two more. And last one. And rising all the way up. Okay, so turning to face the bar, let's go push down and lift. One way up through our calves. Let's go four more. Three, two, and one. Okay, so we're gonna go turning the leg out, knees reaching out to the side, jump it back, bring your torso down, and little pulses here. Let's go five more. Three, two, trying not to hang off the bar here, and step that leg forward. Let's go rise and lower, pushing into the calves. Shoulders are relaxed. Okay, and coming away from the bar, turning the leg out and bringing it down. And let's go lift and lift. If it feels better for you to have your bottom leg uh, slightly bent, go for that. Okay, and now from here, let's turn around to face the other way and we're just gonna reach to the bar and center. Away and center. And on the next one away from the bar, let's go all the way down and all the way up and back. Okay, and let's go back. Rise and rise. Other side, lower and lower. Awesome work. Alrighty, let's get into our cardio piece. I'll just take you through um, like eight reps of each of the exercises. Do them with me to keep warm um, and then we'll get into the actual track. So the first one we're going to be starting with is a single, single double. The arms are going opposite direction of where our hips are. So it's a single, single double jump. Single, single. And now while we do these, we're thinking about drawing rib cage down towards your hips. Soft landing through the, the, the feet, the knees and the ankles. Okay, that's that one. Next one. If you don't want to be jumping, we're going single, single, double, single, single, double, as in that's your timing. Okay, next exercise, we're jumping on one leg and we're going out to the side and a front, side, front. Arms can go with you. If you don't want to jump these, you can tap and tap, tap, tap. Okay, next one is a squat jump, double, double, tap. Double, double. Now, if you don't want to jump, it's out, in, out, in. Okay? And then we have up, across, up, down, up, across. So from the back, it looks up, across, down, up, across. And the arms are just doing this continuously. Okay? Jumping is this. Up, across. 
request. Up. Okay, and then the last exercise um, we're going to be doing is a cross. So we go forward and then it goes left, right, left, left, right, left. You can add a jump and then you can also add an extended leg. Okay, then the other ones are just going to be some running on the spot that I'll do with you as we go. All right, let's do it. Getting ready. So we've got our single, single, double jump first. Get shoulders are down. Remember, we're keeping our core engaged. Okay, staying with these. Remember your option, squat, squat, and rise. Let's go four more. Three, two, and one. Okay, let's go side and front. Good, fixing the leg out, get a little pause. Go double, 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 double. Shoulders down. Four, three, two, one. Other side. Single, out, and out. Good. Keep it going. Remember, you can just lunge these if you don't want to jump it. Arms keep moving. Let's go double. Out. Okay, little jog here. And double jog. Alternating. Single. And double. Okay, and let's go cross. Back, back. Optional if you want to jump. Soft landing. Add an extended leg if you want to. Keep it going. One more. Three. Two. And one. Okay, let's go. Up and down. Up, across, and down. Remember, you don't have to jump these. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Squat to double jump. Up. Double. Let's turn these. So as you squat, turn. Squat. Jump. Jump. Squat. And let's go kick. Three. And squat. Up. Double. Alternating. And what? What? Double. Back to our single, single, double. Keep twisting. Good. Double. Double. Six more. Four, three, two, one. Jog me on the side. Let's go side, front, side, and other side. Let's go shuffle. Turn them if you want to. Stay with these, we're almost done. Use your arms. We should be pretty warm by now. Four, three, two, one. Awesome work. 
Alrighty, let's get our ankle weight on our right side for our glute work. Feel free to have your mat rolled up in half here, um, just for some extra sort of support underneath our knees. On the right side, and we're going to stay down on the floor for uh, today's class. So we're going to go into a four-point kneel from here. Remember, like always, your options, you can have either your hands flat on the floor here, or if your wrists get quite sore, you can be on your elbows. Okay, we're thinking about pushing the shoulders down away from our ears, rib cages reaching up, pushing the floor away. When we round through the shoulders here, it creates a nice strong base for us. And then when we move through the positions, no matter what we're doing, we're avoiding falling into excessive extension and then correcting it as the leg comes down, okay? So find a nice sort of neutral curve in the spine, just a, a slight one, and then you maintain that throughout the entire track, okay? Let's do it. Okay, so we're going to start with the leg bent, and let's go reaching straight out, squeezing through the glutes, and then drawing it all the way back in. And away, and in. No rush with these ones. If your lower back tends to get a little bit sore here, come down to the elbows just to start. Okay, so we've done four slow, let's speed it up. Away, and in. Four, we've got four more. Four, three, two, and holding it up. Now let's go pulses for 16. Now whenever we do this, it's normal to be feeling the side on the supporting leg here. Six more. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, now let's go four slow, crossing the knee over the left side and reaching back up. Cross, and reach. Two more. Keep your core engaged. And up, last one. And now let's go eight a little bit faster. Eight, seven, five, four, three, two, and hold it up. Flex your foot if you like. We've got 16 pulses. Up and up. 10 more. Shoulders are down. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Drawing all the way in. And now we're going with the leg out to the side. And in. Four slow. Three. And four. Let's go eight. Picking up your pace. Seven. Five. I'm definitely feeling my opposite leg now. Three. Two. And holding it up. Let's go 16 pulses, up and up. So with our pulses, my range is usually about 10 centimeters, okay? It doesn't have to be too big here. Six more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drawing it in, okay. And now let's go straight up and down, out to the side, and in. Up, and back. Okay, let's go eight, make them smaller, seven. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome work. Alrighty, sinking it back. Awesome job. Okay, grab a little drink, have a breather, and let's get the ankle weight on the other side. So we've got our weight on the other leg now, getting ready. And let's go four slow, reaching straight back, up and in. And four, 
Okay, shoulders are staying down and let's go eight a little bit faster, going back. Four more. Three, two, and one. Keeping it up. And now let's go 16 with the straight leg, lift. Try and keep everything nice and still. Shoulders are still, hips are nice and square to the floor. And one. Okay, now let's take it across. Four, slow, up. And four. Alrighty, and let's go eight, a little bit faster. Seven. Five. And one, holding it up, you can flex your foot. This tends to help keep it out of the back of the knee and let's go 60. Eleven, twelve, shoulders, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, throwing it all the way in and let's go full range out to the side. Four, slow. Three. Two. Last one. Okay, picking up our pace, let's do it. Eight, seven. Trying not to hang out to the supporting leg. Keeping as sticks as you can through the shoulders, through the knees, even amount of weight through the hands, the elbows, and the back leg. I've lost count. Okay, let's hold it up. And six, six. Eleven. Five, four, three, two, and one. Throwing it in, and up, and back. Okay, and now let's go picking up our pace a little bit. Up, and up. Good, try not to sway. Rib cage towards your hip. Almost done. Four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. Okay, sinking it back. Alright, let's take our anchor weight off and we'll just go into a little stretch from here. So you can do this stretch on both sides. We'll just go with one leg on top and then we'll just cross it over and back. Over and back. Nice. And let's go other side now. Cross and back. Cross. And back. Now, so I'm hoping that this stretches right through the side where we're just feeling it, especially with the movement where we're going out to the side from there. Okay, we're going to unfold our mat and we're going to get into our core work from here. So feel free to, again, grab a little drink, have a breather, and then coming back down to the mat when you're ready. Okay, let's start laying flat on our back. Arms and legs are reaching overhead, and now we're gonna reach the right hand up to the left leg. You can have it straight or bent, and then lower, then other side. So the option with the bent leg is in tabletop. Keep pushing the lower back down towards the floor, and then the other arm is just staying overhead. It's okay if you can't keep it on the floor, if you wanna have it lifted as well, that's all right. Okay, and let's start really reaching across and control your leg back down towards the floor. Now remember, everyone's really different in terms of where you can maintain an imprinted spine. So if you can't quite remove the gap with the legs extended like me, if it's not hurting your back, you don't have to change anything, that's fine. If it is aggravating your back from here, feel free to have a little bend where you can then flatten the back out and then just return back to the bent leg. Okay, let's go two more. And last one. And lower. Okay, so we're going to roll over onto our side from here. And let's go with our top leg bent, bottom leg straight. This is one of my favorite exercises for our obliques. And then we're going to bring the front, sorry, the bottom hand forward. Now we're pushing up off the elbow, trying to lift this shoulder up off the floor. So let's go lift and lower. Lift and lower. 
Good. So if you want to start adding the progression, you can extend the leg and then lower. Let's do two more on this side. And lower. Other side, let's do it. Full range. Rising up and lowering down. Pushing up off the bottom elbow. Use your breath. Exhale as we reach up. Inhale as we come back down. If you want to add on, go for it. Two. And last one. And lower down. Okay, so rolling back over onto our, our back from here, and we'll bring both feet up. And now we're gonna add a sit up as we lift legs to tabletop. And now let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands come back, everything returns. And again, lift and extend. Five, four, three, two, one. And just hold a sit up. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work, rolling down. Awesome job. Okay, coming up to standing, uh, we're gonna come back to the, the bar from here. We're getting into a, um, a lunge with a little bit of balance work, and then we're gonna go into some upper body after this. Okay, so just before we start this track, I just wanna go through um, the sequence without any music and break it down for you. Um, so then you can kind of flow through once the music has started. So optional, if you wanna try and have the hands off the bar for this one and sort of challenge your stability a little bit, you're more than welcome to do that. Otherwise, we will get a chance a little bit later to work on our balance. So let's start with the leg, sorry, the arm out to the side, legs are together. And now your plie is your returning position each time, okay? So we're going to start with the leg coming out, plie, and then the arm comes up, leg goes to the front. Then we're going to go plie, leg goes to the back, and plie, leg comes up to retire. You have the option to add a rise if you want to. Okay, let's just do that part um, together, and then we'll add on. So it goes plie and front, plie, back, plie, retire, back to our plie, okay? Don't have to rise if you don't want to. So from there, after we've done the retire, we go plie, lunge away from your bar. Okay, so we've got four here. So that was one and two, three, four. As soon as we turn back to face the bar on the fourth one, we lift this back leg straight up for four, three, two, one. The leg comes out to plie, straight back into the first movement. Okay, let's do all of that again at the tempo that we're going to be working at. Okay, so three, two, one, and let's go. Plie, front, plie, back, plie, retire, plie, lunge, away, and plie, lunge, lunge. Last one, leg goes three, two, one, swing back away and down. Retire, up, lunge, away. And to the bar, away, knee goes up, three, two, one, together. So we're going to do two sets, and then we're going to turn around to face the other side. Okay, remember, if you can't get it, just do one round and just do it a little bit slower. Do whatever tempo you need. If you'd prefer to just stay with the plie together, sorry, plie front, plie back, you can do that too. Okay, let's do it. I love this track. Okay, this one's nice and short too, okay? One hand on the bar, arm out to the side, and let's go. Plie, front, plie, back, retire, and lunge. To the bar, away, and to the bar, three, two, one, and back. Plie, front, and back. Retire, and away. And away. Last one. Three. Two. One. And together. Rise. Lower. Rise. Lower. 
slow one. Four, three, two, and back to the two slow. Rise and right. Turn around, face the other way. Reset. Let's do it. Plie and front. Back. The tire and away to the bar. Three, two, one, and plie. Front. And back. And away. To the bar. Three, two, one. Step it in. And let's go lower. Two, two, and four. Four, three, two. Back to the slow. Up, and up. Four fast. Four, three, two. Hold it up on your toes. One it back. And up. And pulse. Four, three, two, one. Back, back, and pulse. Two, three, four, and hold. Arms can come off the bar here. Little pulses. Good. Keep it going. Rib cage down. Okay, let's do one more of each. And let's go. Plie, front. Plie, back. Retire away from the bar and towards away. Last one. Three, two, one. Other side. Plie back. Back. Retire away to the bar. Away and three, two, one. All the way in. Awesome work. Lower down. All right, let's get our hand weights straight into the next trap. Upper body, arms come out and scoop it back down. Arms up, you can go with your feet a little bit wider. Okay, hold the hinge and let's just go arm away. And four, let's go eight pulses. Up, up. Four, four, three, and one to the back. Three. And four. Hold it up. Eight. Seven. Four. Three. Two. And one. Standing it up. Let's go alternating arms. Take your feet nice and wide. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay, so we're gonna go three, two, one. Three, two, one. So we're lunging to where the arms are pointing. Palms are facing away. Last one. And last here. Nice. Okay, so let's come down onto the floor for a quad extension. So as we curl back, arms come in. You can tuck the toes. Or if you'd prefer not to do the quad extension, just do bicep curls. So from here, we're thinking about keeping the elbows up in line with the shoulders. Rib cage is reaching down to our hips. Okay, let's hold a little quad extension, little pulses. In, in. Shoulders down, rib cage. Six, five, four, three. Okay, coming back up to standing, and let's go. Arms are reaching out, little bend, forward and away. Forward, away. Okay, and hold them out. Let's go, rotate, rotate. If you want to add a rise, rise. Up and lower. You don't have to. Okay, and circles, palms are facing the ceiling. Lower the feet, take one leg back for a lunge. And let's go forward and back. Four more. Three, should be feeling your shoulders now. 
One, step it in. Shuffle. And let's go reaching down. Four. Three. Two. And one. Nice work. Okay. Grab a drink. Have a breather. Okay, with this next track, we're going to be going through some devlapes where we bend and extend the leg, and then we're going to be going through a uh, batman on cloche, so where we pull the leg forward and back. Now, I like to do this without my mat, as I feel like I can't glide my foot along the floor um, very well if I have my mat there. If you would also like to take it away, you're more than welcome to. If you're on like a smooth surface like this, wearing socks can sometimes help, um, but just make sure maybe you take the heel of your, your sock off so you've got a little bit of grip through the heel um, on the floor. All right, let's do it. Soft hand on the bar. And let's go arm reaching out to the side. Shoulders are down away from our ears. And now we're gonna go through, two, three, four, and then swing, two, three, four. Okay, so let's go lifting the leg up. And let's go front back, front, back, and swing, two, three, and again, front, back, front, back, and swing, two, three, four, and let's go front, side, back, side, lift, four, three, two, and back to the front, front, side, back, side, and lift, rising up as high as you can, keep it going with these. Try and get full extension each time, returning with your toes back to your knee. Three, four, and hold. So try and take your other hand off the bar. Little balance here, push the shoulders down away from your ears. Bottom leg as straight as you can. See if you can extend the leg away. And drawing all the way in. Okay, let's turn around, we'll go to the other side. Reset. And let's go front, back, front, back, swing through. Up, two, three, and to the front. Front, back, front, swing through. Up, two, three, and let's go front. Side, back, side, four rises. Up, two, soft hand on the bar, and front. Side, back, side, rise. Shoulders down, rib cage. Last one, front, side, back, side, four, three, two, one. Get your balance. You can be flat footed if you prefer. And see if you can extend the leg away. Bottom leg is as straight as you can. And drawing in. Okay, turn and face the bar. And let's just go alternating, two, three, four, other side, two, three, four, to the front, lift, two, three, four, other side, lift, two, three, four, and rise, take the hands off again, arms can come out, and now let's go lower the heels halfway, and rise. Half and rise. Double time. Up and up. Shoulders reaching down. Try not to let the elbows sink here. Six more. Five, four, three. Everyone should be feeling their calves. Hold it up and nice and slow. Lower the heels as the arms come up. Awesome work. Dropping down. Okay. Let's grab our ball and we're going to place the ball just above our knees. If you don't have a ball, don't stress, just mimic the legs. And let's go rise, bend, rise and lower. Rib cage, rise and bend, rise and lower. Okay, so let's go hold a bend and we're going to squeeze, squeeze. So if you have one of the short little bends, if you don't have a ball, you can put this around your legs and you could work with the opposite action. Okay, up to you. 
squeeze. Get a little bit lower if you can. Let's go five more. Four, three, two, and hold it in. Now let's go walk out for two, and in. Stay up nice and high on your toes if you can. Shoulders are down away from your ears. Feeling our quads, hamstrings, glutes, other way. It's also normal to be feeling your feet and your calves here, especially if you're not used to this sort of work on the toes. If you prefer, you can be flat-footed like this. Up to you. Let's go three more this way. Two. And last one. And in. Okay, let's go with the ball behind our knee and out. Up. Three. And four. And let's go pull in. Two. Three. Eight here. Four. Three. Two. And one. Back in. Four. Three. Two. And out. Eight. Seven. Slide. Four. Three. Two. And hold the squeeze. Take it back. And in. And other side, let's go. Three, two, and out. Eight, seven, five, four, three, two, and back in. Four, three, keep it going. Two, and one. Eight, seven, five, four, three, two, and one. Take it back, and tap. And back, and tap. So if the ball keeps falling out from behind your leg, we need to work harder on squeezing, using your hamstring to hold it there. Last one. And in. Nice. Just drop the ball down, and let's go into a roll down from here. Have a little stretch of the hamstrings. You might feel the calves here as well. Walk the feet out. Throw the hands away, whatever one. And let's just walk out onto the heels. Awesome left. And drum all the way in, rolling up through the spine. Have a little breather, grab a drink. Let's unroll your mat if you rolled it up. Moving into our last track now, we've got a floor bar. So let's go with laying on our belly. Eye gaze is staying down to the floor, trying to shoot the chin up. And let's go arms reaching out. And now we're going to rise the shoulders up, lift the chest, see if you can lift one leg. And then lower down. Other side, rising up. Use your core to protect your lower back here. Back leg is as straight as you can. And lower. Let's stay with this tempo, rising. And lower. So it's normal to feel your lower back your glutes and your hamstrings rising back up. Trying not to push the belly out and lower. Okay, let's speed it up just a little bit. Rise and lower. And rise and lower. Speeding up a little bit more. Rise, lower. Rise, lower. Okay, just the upper body. Lift, lower. If you want to start taking the arms with you, you can. Try and keep the feet on the floor. Okay, keep the chest down. Lift, lift. Three and four. Now we're going to keep this leg up as we roll to the side. And now let's go. Lift. Two, three. Doesn't have to be your full range. And now from here, we're going to roll all the way over, keep it up, and lift. Two, three, four, and now we're going to try and keep the leg up as we roll through the range. Roll, and back, roll, and forward. And through. Okay, lower it down. Nice work. Let's do that on the other side. That's definitely tricky. Okay. And let's go four, three, two, one, holding it up and coming round onto our side. And let's go four, three, 
two and one rolling over and let's go rise two three four holding it up okay and now let's roll through it up. you can use your arms and round two more And last one. Awesome work. Lower down. Okay, let's go hands behind your head. And we're going to lift the chest up. Rib cage towards your hips. And now let's go turning the leg out. Lift and lower. Other side, push your lower back down. Lift and lower. Up. Lift and lower. Last one. We're going into our cool down now. And lower. Nicely done. Okay. Pulling our knee in towards our chest, extend the bottom leg away, and let's circle through the leg. Awesome job today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the session. Something a little bit different. A couple of new moves in there. Let's go two more. And last one. And other side, let's do it circle. And across, let's go down. And up. And across. Let's go two more. And last one. And in. Okay. And let's just come up for an inner thigh stretch here. So one leg is bent, other leg is out to the side. And we're just gonna push the hips down. And rise. Last one. And again, let's go other side. Okay, so sitting on our bottom, let's do a stretch for our shoulders. So we're going to have the fingertips pointing away from you. And if you have hyperextended sort of elbows like I do here, you might want to have a little bend. Otherwise, you can keep the arms straight. And now let's walk the hands away. Try and keep them narrow. So please only go as far as you feel comfortable. This should feel like maybe a, a 6 out of 10 for your stretch, okay? So if you do have quite a lot of shoulder range, you could go down towards the floor a little bit further. Keep breathing. Okay, and coming all the way up, laying flat on your back again. And let's go extending one leg. Let's circle the leg here, just little ones. And other side, up and hold. And circle. Awesome work. Alrighty, throwing it all the way in. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the session. If you have any questions, like always, please feel free to message me, enjoy your day, and I'll see you next time.